This is the ending dress for the big chase yeah, around the boat, the chiffon ombre. The water dress, as we called it, was probably the biggest design challenge in the movie. The dress had a tremendous amount of layers to it, and it was silk chiffon that had been ombre dyed, which meaning it changed colors. It was a very, very complicated dress to make, and I think we probably ended up making about 24 or so of them. Do you like me bloomers? I think it worked out really well. I was quite pleased also with the way that it functioned when it was dry. And there's that wonderful slow motion shot from behind. And you see Kate in the dress is kind of beautifully blowing in the wind. We knew that the dress had to be able to be shown in the water and still look good. Don't worry, Jack. You're not going to drown. <laughs> I've come to oh, save your life. The logistics of her getting around the ship and being underwater and swimming and I'm sure Kate hated that thing after wearing it for months and months. That water was so cold. I think it was about 60 degrees. And um, everybody else was in wetsuits or dry suits or something. But I can't wear anything underneath that costume because by design, Jim has always wanted it to be as though I'm naked when it's wet against my legs. Um, so, of course, you know, there's no room for such joys. Don't say a word.